What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Netflix new movie, Purple Hearts. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. As a romantic drama, Purple Hearts is actually not too shabby. It follows all of the predictable formulas down to the T. But you know what? In this case, the formula still works. It still works. It's sentimental and melodramatic, not to mention the songs or the music aspect that will hit the right notes with its target audience. And the spin about the marriage fraud is also interesting because I'm willing to bet that that is not as uncommon as you may think in real life. My only problem with this movie is that it's way too long and way too bloated. None of its montages or character development or conflict really justify its 120 minute runtime. That said, Sofia Carson and Nicholas Gallatin pull it off. They really look like a married couple who argue and then passionately love each other. I mean, they sure fool me. Written by Kyle Jarrow and Liz W. Garcia and directed by Elizabeth Allen Rosenbaum. For singer-songwriter Cassie Salazar, music is everything. She is determined to make it with her band and see a world beyond her hometown of Oceanside, California. But life struggles keep getting in the way, while Cassie's day job at the local dive bar once kept her afloat, her debt becomes insurmountable after she receives an unexpected type 1 diabetes diagnosis. One night on shift, Cassie meets quietly intense Luke Morrow out with his fellow US Marines before they deploy, Tides quickly turn when what starts as a flirtatious introduction ends in a war of words. But all is not lost from their chance encounter, as Cassie gets an idea after learning that Marine spouses get full health benefits and extra pay. In order to get the medicine she needs to actually survive, this might be the perfect temporary solution. Starring Sophia Carson, Nicholas Gallatin, and Kat Cunning. I'm not sure if all of the information about the US Marines in this film are 100% accurate, but I think audiences will be surprised by how some of the legalities and the mechanism work, or at least the depiction of them. Because unlike other military movies, Purple Hearts is not about showing you the wars or the battles. This film maintains its focus on the particular scam, and its possible consequences on their relationship. So I do appreciate the fact that the script doesn't deviate from its main themes and its main objectives. Now, Purple Hearts also has political undertone. It's not too subtle about it, but it's not too forceful either. You see, Sophia's character, Cassie, is a bleeding heart liberal, whereas Luke is cut from a jingoistic cloth. In a way, it's as if the writers want to say, hey, we can have different ideologies, but we can still get along, right? True, but if getting along means falling in love romantically with someone whose beliefs and values are different than yours, well then let's just say that that only happens in movies like this one, Purple Hearts. On to the performances, just to double down on what I implied earlier. While it is a bit challenging, picturing former Disney star Sophia Carson in the role of a struggling, starving artist. But Sophia manages to tap into that need to create and that dream of hitting the big break. Sophia also wrote and performed an original song for this film. Not sure if it's gonna be memorable enough for the award season later this year, but Sophia's fans are gonna eat that song up like apple pie. Nicholas also does a fine job of embodying this intense, stubborn man who has just as much to lose on this scheme of theirs. Both Sophia and Nicholas convey these strong-headed, bull-headed personalities perfectly, like it's an extension of themselves. So yeah, overall, Purple Hearts is not a bad romantic drama that could have been trimmed down a little. If you choose to watch this film, that's fine. And if you choose to skip it, you'll live.